Hey there, this is Gary from Peacekeepers Armory. I'm just making an instructional video for the new owner of this fine saber. It is a vintage Graflex non-patent Fulmer. Um, it's got a vintage Otis elevator circuit card, um, vintage Xactra screws, um, weathered, blackened with aluminum black. as a vintage cobalt uh, D-ring clip. And as you can see, thank you to uh, Matthew Dooley, we got some pretty accurate alignment there for the Wampa Cave scene. Um, this is a placeholder. It was the original red button that came with it, and he, uh, the owner has a second correct one that he will have there. It has weathered um, short pins for easy reveal, and for the owner, I will be including your vintage um, long straight pins. Um, it's just, obviously, uh, since they are longer, you cannot pull this out without undoing the bottom ones. So I have these in here for now. Um, the contact in there, the spring, is uh, vintage. It's all part of the original flash gun when we bought it, and it serves as the blade plug. Um, it's got mylar tape from Skywampa, or I'm sorry, not Skywampa, Wanawanga on the uh, outside, and uh, the removed beer tab for accuracy. So that's pretty much it for the outside. Um, thank you to Matthew Dooley again for installing and cutting the grips. Um, I had him use the uh, screws and uh, put the grips on there and align everything and uh, punch, get some sound holes in there, and then punch the uh, rivets in there as well. So he does an awesome job. I always have him do them. Or I try to always have him do them for all my builds. So um, first things first, we're going to take this guy out. It's a little tight, so don't worry. Um, it comes out really nicely. So you're gonna wanna push this down just like I did right there. So push from the clamp, push the top half down, and then twist until you see the hole, and then slowly wiggle it out. Now, this is metal, and the chassis is metal, so you don't wanna scratch it, and there are little prongs on the inside of uh, these holes to secure it in here. And I shortened them a little bit, so they're not so much of an issue, but you just wanna slowly, Take this out, that way you don't get too many scratches. Then you can set that off to the side. Here we have it, all good to go. So as the user has it requested, I have that blink um, and then the uh, pulsing crystal. Now, cool thing about this is you can't really see it here, but um, the Bluetooth notification LEDs, you can see from under here. So you can see that the red is blinking and the blue is steady. Blue is just a power on and red is indicating whether it's connected or not. Um, I'm using my phone right now for the recording so I can't show you the Bluetooth, but once it's connected, the red will be steady. So to take this out, all you have to do is unscrew this, the bottom button. And right now I have the 3D printed, uh, this is metal, you could probably get it in plastic, would work fine. Um, blade retention um, so you are gonna this is pretty tight on there so you are probably gonna have to use a pliers or a vise to uh, get this off and put it on your new one or just order a plastic printed one to put it on your um, other red button now um, you can slide this out as it is however I have had a couple times where because of the Bluetooth uh, PZB it'll still nick the top of this, even though as, as much as I shorten the threads on their top red button. So I still recommend you um, twist this off um, to slide it out. Um, I have lately, it's been fine, but it's still recommended just because you don't want to rip the switch off. And here we have this. I already had the review video on this, so it's not really necessary. Um, uh, yep, that's just the black on there. It's just the... Uh, protection so that the button doesn't short it. So I have a little bit of a, uh, it's rubber stopper in there that I cut down to be just perfect so it hits the button just right so it makes a solid click. I'll turn this off for now. Um, so just put this guy back in here. And then um, if you're gonna put the blade plug or the blade in, um, you wanna hold it kind of like this and then up so it's up all the way um, when you put this in because otherwise if you push this down then it's going to obviously push the chassis out so get this starting to thread and then you're going to want to 
hold it like that and push this down because otherwise it's springy as you can see um, the pins on the inside and it's nice and then we can double check Yeah, we have good contact. So, and if this doesn't thread on right away, which has been pretty good about it, just do a little bit of backwards threading to get it to seat right, and then thread it until it uh, goes on properly. There you go. And don't do it too tight because then it'll um, re-unthread because of how much I had to shave the threading down, as you could probably see. So we'll turn this off. It's got solid button contact, so that works out really well. Uh, really for this, there's not much. You shouldn't have to take this out at all, but just to show you, um, it wasn't very well aligned as we discussed um, to begin with when we bought it. Um, so. Um, Matthew Dooley once again did the awesome thing of cutting a nice legit channel through here to get it right where it needs to be. So it's a little bit longer but it's perfectly stable um, and you just need to make sure that you get it on there right. Um, that's what again you shouldn't really have to take this apart but right even like that you pull it up and then that's nice and even. I uh, don't think there's really much else to show on here. Um, I showed you how to take the hatch off and all that. I'm going to be loading the last couple fonts on there for you. Or not fonts, but the tracks on there that you requested. And then, um, yeah, that'll be pretty much it. I got your cobalt that I'll be sending you as well. And your spare batteries. And this will be pretty much well on its way as soon as I get the final approval from you. So just slowly put this on. I'm gonna align it with that. And then at 90 degrees is where you want it. So you can actually, if you got this aligned with the circuit, you can align it this way as well. Pretty much right there. And that is your vintage Empire Strikes Back to go with your vintage Force Awakens. Hope you enjoy it.